Morning, everyone. My name is Royce, and I'm a second year MD PhD student. Again. We're finally getting our makeup white coat ceremony that's been postponed because of coronavirus. I am grateful that friends and family can attend. My fiance and my mom are both attending today. This morning, I still have classes, which kind of sucks. The weather outside is gorgeous right now. The forecast shows it's going to be sunny the whole day and it's going to be in the 60s and 70s. So I'm really happy about that. So I've recently been biking to school and that's completely changed my life because now my commute is so much faster and so much more enjoyable too. So I just finished biking to school. I'm pretty hungry right now, so I'm probably gonna get an egg and cheese sandwich from a food truck that I really like. My body's probably gonna hate me for it. And afterward, I'm gonna park my bike and then go into JMX for lunch. Have a great day, thanks. So I just got to JMX. Uh, the first thing I have is a lecture at 8 a.m. And then right after, from 9 until 11 a.m., I have a small group. Um, there are some more lectures after that, but I'm not sure if I'll go. Right. Okay. So before we start, we have to get pretty thinking about so we finished small group super early today. It's like 9.40 a.m. right now. Uh, so I'm gonna head home a little early now, skip the last two lectures so I can spend time with my mom and my fiance. So after I got home, I gave myself a little bit of a haircut. The sides are a little neater. That's important for the photos. And um, I've just been spending time with my mom and my fiance too. Um, so we're gonna start cooking pretty soon. So my fiance made this dish. She used olive oil, garlic powder, Dijon, honey, and I think she also added balsamic vinegar too. And this is a simple spring mix with shredded carrots and the same dressing that she used for the zucchinis. She also just finished steaming some potatoes. So she just mashed it up with a fork. Now she's adding some salt and pepper, some uh, garlic sauteed in olive oil, and we're gonna drizzle that over. So have a nice, like, almost buttery taste. So now for the main course, I wanna make chicken marsala. So what I did was I got chicken breast, I just butterflied it open, and I grabbed a frying pan, and then I pounded it. We have all the breaded chicken right here. This is breaded in gluten-free flour and uh, salt and pepper. So that's the chicken's frying. Uh, I'm gonna start making the sauce for the chicken marsala. Next, I'm gonna add the mushrooms and the red onions. Next, I'm gonna add some uh, Pinot Noir. So a lot of the red wine is simmered off. So I'm gonna add some uh, chicken broth. Ooh, look at that color. I'm gonna add the marsala sauce over the chicken. Mmm, marsala is delicious. So got my outfit here. Um, this is the one time out of the year that I dress nicely, so I've met my annual quota. We're gonna get ready to go, uh, walk over to Penn, see you guys there. All right, we'll All right, I'll see you guys outside. Oh, I'll see you. Oh, shoot. There's my name, there's my house. The discoveries of our scientists and physicians are indeed changing the face of medicine. The breakthrough in messenger RNA biology achieved by Drew Weissman and Catlin Carrico created the platform for safe and effective vaccines. Indeed, they received the breakthrough prize yesterday. 
Equally exciting discoveries have created CAR T-cell therapy for cancer and effective gene therapies. These and many other advances are shaping the future of medicine. Now you've heard people say, medicine is lifelong learning. That's facts. Practicing medicine is a journey. The entering class of 2020, members of Dickens, Macell, Rhodes, and Woodhouses, please stand as well. I invite you now to put on your white coats. Now it is time to recognize each student. We will begin by introducing each house, and then we will invite the members of each house to approach the stage. Next house will be the Rhodes House. This house is named after Dr. Jonathan E. Rhodes, an internationally known surgeon who pioneered the development of intravenous nutrition. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Roy Stong, and the pandemic has taught me the importance of having support networks. Um, so shout out to my parents and to my fiance for helping me get here. Uh, this is your white coat too. And um, also shout out to uh, the great friends I've made here. I consider you guys my family too. Thanks. And we will recite together the Physician's Pledge, uh, a modern version of the Hippocratic Oath. As a member of the medical profession, I solemnly pledge to dedicate my life to the service of humanity. And this concludes our white coat ceremony for your class, celebrating you with our appreciation to all of your family and friends. So we just got out of the auditorium. Uh, finally, we got our white coats after a year. Um, it makes the stethoscope look that much better. Uh, when I was reading off my like fun facts, I was super nervous, but I'm glad it was over. It wasn't as nerve wracking as I thought it'd be. And um, yeah, it's nice to be on campus and to take more photos with friends and family. So we just finished with the white coat ceremony, um, took a lot of photos with friends and family, and that was really nice. Hey guys, just got home. Uh, I just changed into a new shirt and new pants. Uh, so now my fiance and my mom and I are gonna head over to Dan Dan Noodles. So we're gonna get some really yummy noodles. Um, I think it's like a Sichuan place. Uh, and yeah, I'm excited. This will round out a really great day so far. Just parked my car, now we're walking over. Here are the appetizers. Uh, we got a Chengdu chicken, and we also got, uh, I think they're pork wontons and a chili oil, and I, I really love chili oil. So the entrees are in. I got a spicy beef noodle soup. My fiance got gluten-free dandan noodles, and my mom got a cumin lamb dish with, I think, hand-shaped noodles. Uh, looks really good. So we just finished eating at Dan Dan. I am absolutely stuffed, um, but if I wasn't stuffed, I would otherwise want to get ice cream or something. So honestly, I'm happy I'm stuffed, but I'm also a little sad too. Okay, wow, um, just got home. So it was really unfortunate that we had to wait over a year for our white coat ceremony. But I think, you know, uh, on the bright side of things, having the wait be so long made the experience that much more enjoyable. Typically, white coat ceremonies tend to be um, like right after orientation, at least for Penn. And at that point in time, we wouldn't have known anyone. And I think it's more meaningful now to share this moment with people whom I consider to be my friends. So I'm really grateful for, you know, my friends, for my family, uh, you know, supporting me up until this moment. And I really enjoyed the food. You know, lunch was delicious. Um, and it was nice to cook a meal together. And also dinner was delicious. I haven't had Sichuan food in a very long time. And I, I love the taste of Sichuan peppers, you know, um, Sichuan peppercorns. It's got kind of a minty feel to it. And that's something I hadn't had in a while. And so that really brought me back. So yeah, overall, it's it's been such a great day. It's been jam packed, but it's been so much fun. That's all I wanted to say for this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, thanks and I'll see you later. Bye.